Christ. It's about to go off, it's about to go off. Referee Riley, he's about to destroy this studio, it's going down. Off, turn it off, turn it off. One more time, one more time, one more time. One more time with that one. Come again. I don't know if I can do this, mate. Stayed into the studio, stayed in the studio till like four o'clock in the morning, and just like went wild on this beat and then a couple weeks later I called up Tiny Temper and I was like bro I've got this beat for you and he was like let me hear this like he was very excited and he was like bro if it's not good like I'm not gonna come on it and I was like bro it's gonna be good don't worry he played it in his house and this the, ne the, the same day he called me up and he was like I've got to jump on this beat and um, it was it was the best best session I've had like in a while <laughs> I want you guys to throw some questions at me and I'll ask answer whatever you want me to answer um, as long as it's not too dirty. Gentlemen, this is something they call a groundbreaker. So let me first apologize to the shirts and the ties for your makeup. Cause I make you ugly. A lot of people that heard this record um, asked me about like what synth I used on, on Earthquake because it sounds so crazy. I was I just wanted that synth was the synth that's supposed to turn people like absolutely insane in this, like in the club like just just crazy. I decided to turn the beat into this kind of I, I kind of think of it like some robot or like this big machine made out of metal and it's just kind of every walk forward it sounds like a beat like it's just Cause we throw bombs on it, throw bombs on it, just mess on it. Chris Gregory, I love that question. That's so <laughs> I love that. Um, how much do I spend on electric? Um, I, I don't. Um, my, my electric bills are through the roof. I swear that's the Eve song, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, a lot of people weren't asking me about these trainers after they saw them on the video. They're Reebok classics, man. I love these trainers. SBTV came down to, to um, my studio. and um, Actually, it didn't come down to my studio. We went to um, Camden to um, record the first Let the Sunshine that I've ever done. Before that. It wasn't, it wasn't Let the Sunshine. Sorry, I'm a joker. Yeah. It was actually... Um, it was like the times they are changing by Bob Dylan, and that's one of my favourite songs. I remember watching. It's right here. Search it. This is too funny. This is 18 months ago. This is crazy. You may not recognise the song, but I think it has a lot to say about it. Oh my god! I can't even play it anymore. Do you know it's so mad? That was 18 months ago. Not just a pop artist singing. Sing. Not just a. And now, watch out! With hundred, over hundred thousand views. That's mad, man. Um, basically, gave people a look into my restaurant and my other business. What's going on? The food. Is that no? What the? Bro! give as a young producer um, I would say um, work with as many people as possible learn as much as, as possible don't just work with people um, don't just work with one type of person as well like um, don't just work with rappers and R&B singers work with anyone you can don't work with just indie people work with as many different styles of music as possible because you're gonna learn and, and, and 
you're gonna create yourself through what you what you get inspired by, um, and listen to as much music as possible as well. Like just keep that range as wide as it could be, um, and then also learn an instrument. And it's very healthy to know what you're doing on your instrument. Like learn a piano and break it down and understand what you're doing, um, uh, the mechanics behind your music.